Hi guys, somebody was asking about Content Bot and the, the blog post uh, generator. So I thought I'd, I'd do a quick off the cuff video to show you how you can use it. And I'm building this into niches as well. I record a more in-depth video over the weekend or maybe tomorrow afternoon. So anyway, here we've got a content, a copy type blog outline. What are healing crystals? It's a touchy-feely kind of um arena to work in so there's not too many facts that are verifiable about these things uh, and the also description is a brief description about what are healing crystals and their uses so what are healing crystals how to use healing crystals and how to use uh, crystal candles to clear a room <laughs> okay so we've got these different ones here so i'm going to take a couple of these and throw them into uh the long form generator so just bear with me guys so let's see what we got copywriting tools full blog posts which is kind of pretty good okay so what was it what are healing crystals what are healing oops in crystals okay what are healing crystals okay let's put the first one in and we can get with that one now so i'm doing this off on the fly so don't take too much notice but somebody wanted to see proof so i thought i'd spend a couple of minutes while my tea is brewing and see if we could help you guys uh, out on this one. If I can, who knows, hey. Okay, so let's not be too greedy about this because all these, the, the more content you ask it to generate the more you're gonna to have to edit it's no two ways about that guys and this is across all the gpt3 tools that i've experienced anyway so let's see let's leave it at about what 300 words should be about a thousand i suppose by the time we actually um edit all of this so let's see how this goes i won't i won't edit this guys so you can see the amount of time that it's going to take to actually generate the content um but maybe now I should sing a song and um, maybe not um, anybody who's heard me singing would say no probably to that um, my kids when I start singing they, they normally jump in and start talking anyway so let's see what we've got here so what are healing crystals uh, these crystals have a purpose and bring energy to energy to the surroundings which is very ne necessary in this time of transition with our planet that's fairly cool I'd say guys so I'm on a a mobile data connection as you know things are mad in my life at the moment so please bear with me be kind with your feedback please um and yeah i'll get a high speed air connection fairly soon anyway so let's just see i think we'll select the first one just for an example then i'll go on to the second section and develop that for us then I'll go on to the third. So we run through this as quick as we can, guys. Notice I've not said a eh or um, I don't think, up until now. Um, I'm trying, ah, I just did it. Anyway, guys, so I'm trying to keep this nice and clean for you guys. So uh, how to use healing crystals and magic tools. I may, if I was going to use this, I, I, I am building out product based around healing crystals actually guys uh just makes me laugh and i'm sure there's there's some there's more things uh, between heaven and earth than, than we'll ever know uh, so i don't really kind of disregard the things that we don't understand as not having some kind of uh physical um i'm doing um, um again now anyway let's see so all of these are going to need editing. As we know, if you've used any of the GPT-3 tools, you know they're not perfect. Anything that is factual, fact check, fact check, fact check. So uh, the next section is how to use healing crystals 
sorry, healing crystal candles to clear room of negative energy. Really handy. We've got um, an Amazon account. You can start throwing little links into these guys. And let's see, a few years ago, my neighbor had severe like, allergic reaction to household mold. Ooh, that's, that can be dangerous. Anyway, let's see. We've got another one there. So I haven't used this tool a lot, guys. I've got it, and I did a quick run through of this particular tool last week, and it seemed to be pretty good. I haven't actually had a chance to use it in anger yet, but I'll just show you. Thought I'd show you the process, and let's select that one. Okay. Now it'll take you to there's there's an editing function as well, so you can take your article and then you see it is press tab on your keyboard or the app button. So what are healing crystals? Oops. Okay. Let's see if we press tab now, what happens here? So crystals provide the structure they need to be in each crystal and. So I just want to give you a gist of how this, this works, guys. Now, this functionality is going to be a, an upgrade to the tool. I don't know what the prices are yet. I'm not affiliate, affiliated with the tool as of yet. Um, but I feel it may may offer some opportunities here. Okay, so what we, we've added a little bit. Crystals provide the structure they need to be in each crystal, and each one has a different effect upon us. When A, so we, you know, we could we could take that and and uh, generate it out. What I would suggest when you do these is, if you're going to add in these kind of finish the sentence edits, then really put your stamp on it, make this your own. So as when the the content is online or in your books or whatever you're going to do with it then it's not seen as lifted content it's not going to be plagiarized but it's got your voice to it which is really important anyway let's see what we got okay so we've got one one six six words let's very quickly guys let's see if we can throw this into a plagiarism checker And see what we get. Hey, my coffee is. Oh, my tea, rather, is well and truly brewed now. So let me finish this, and then I'll go and try and rescue my tea. Okay, so this is Grammarly. Any of you guys who use the tool recognize the interface straight away. Let's not be too uh, pedantic about plagiarism. You know, most articles, when you get over... You know, a thousand words, you're going to have some level of plagiarism, I would have thought, just because the way language, language is structured. So as long as I try to aim for under 10%, you know, choose your, your own level. But make sure the article resonates and makes sense with your audience and your, your view, viewers, because if it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's 100% plagiarism free, it's Gonna add no value to anybody. So okay, off the cuff, we've got seven percent plagiarism. I'd be happy with that. Okay, guys. So that's a quick run through how to use this particular functionality. I think it's a decent tool. Be interesting to see what the pricing is, and we'll take from there. Hope this helps, guys. Have a great day, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye. Oh, I'll be running a full training on this tool over the weekend. Hop into um, or join my youtube channel or join i won't i won't put this in the niches group actually because it's not fair so this will be going directly onto youtube or my full training for this product will be going onto youtube so i'll i'll load this up there as well and then you can take it from there guys all right take care bye bye